Are you looking to go plant-based but aren't exactly sure where to start? Hey, I'm Amanda Pelletier with Live Grow Green and today we're going to talk about five really easy ways that you can get started on your plant-based diet right now. So if you're interested in plant-based recipes and lifestyle tips, feel free to hit the subscribe button so you get notified every time we put out a new video. So if you're thinking about going plant-based, honestly, the hardest part is the beginning phase because you're thinking about everything that has to change in your diet and maybe even in your lifestyle as well, especially if you're thinking about going vegan. Um, it can really just create a lot of overwhelm, a lot of frustration, and just a lot of anxiety in us thinking about where we are and where we need to be. So in this video, I want to break down five easy tips that you can do to actually take a lot of the overwhelm out of this process. So the first thing that I want you to start with is focus on your why. So this is why do you want to go plant-based in the first place? So a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that going plant-based or going vegan is the end goal. That is not true. The end goal is the result that you want from going plant-based or vegan. So people go plant-based for better health, they want to help the environment, and a lot of people go vegan because they want to stop animal cruelty in their life and they want to stop being a part of that cycle. So whatever it is for you and the more clear that you can make it, the better result you're going to have because you're going to have a very clear picture of what you want out of your plant-based experience. So another reason that you want to focus on your why specifically is because that's going to determine what goes on your plate. A lot of people don't know this, that there's a ton of different subsets of plant-based and vegan out there and they all eat completely differently, even though they don't include animal products or include a very minimal amount of animal products, depending on what diet you're doing. So this is really important to focus on this in the very beginning because it's going to shape your entire plant-based experience. So it's really important that you get in touch with yourself and figure out what the end result is that you want from your experience. So now that we've figured out exactly the result that we want, we need to figure out where we are right now. And the best way to do that on a plant-based diet is to figure out what ingredients in your kitchen have animal products in it. So you're not just looking for things like milk, steak, chicken, turkey, fish, and eggs. You're also looking for less obvious things like gelatin, whey, and honey as well. So the idea here is you want to get a standpoint of where you are so that way you can figure out exactly what needs to get swapped out and you're not making it bigger in your head than it actually is. Because once you understand where you are, then you can continue to formulate a plan to actually get yourself from where you are to where you want to be. So after you figure out all the ingredients in your kitchen that have animal products, the next thing that you wanna do is to make a plan to start switching these out at your own pace. And this is really key here because some people do this overnight, other people take weeks or even months to do this. So there's no right answer here. There's only the plan that works best for you. So some people do a one-to-one -one substitution, which is more of, like plant-based milk, like instead of using cow's milk, I'm gonna now use almond or oat milk, or other people use kind of a no waste approach, which means, hey, once it's out of my fridge, once I've fully finished this product, I'm now going to buy you know, the plant-based version of this. Other people um, focus on more of an accelerated plan where you know they'll start with one substitution and then next week they'll move to two, to three, um, really it's at your own pace because this is your transition and this really has to be at your own comfort level. So the next thing that you want to be doing is focusing on really simple meals. So one mistake that I see people make all the time is they pick these recipes that are incredibly complex to make and they get overwhelmed or they pick recipes that have a million ingredients in them and go, oh my gosh, I can't afford to be plant-based if every recipe is like this. So my recommendation to you is to focus on simple meals, focus on a burrito bowl, a Buddha bowl, a pasta dish, um, something that doesn't have more than 10 ingredients in it so that way you can focus 
and get the hang of actually cooking plant-based rather than focusing on really complex recipes and adding to all this overwhelm that you're already experiencing by changing your diet and your lifestyle. So the last thing that I want to talk about in this video is the concept of habit stacking. So habit stacking is critical if you want to turn a diet into a lifestyle because it goes beyond what's on your plate and actually starts to integrate it into your life. So habit stacking is creating a group of actions that work together towards a greater desired result. And really, a common example of habit stacking for weight loss is not just changing your diet, but also creating some sort of exercise routine um, to further that weight loss goal. That's a very common habit stack. Um, that also works for people who are going plant-based for health. Um, another really common habit stack for people who are looking to do plant-based for the environment is to focus on not just cleaning up their diet, but also reducing their plastic um, consumption and focusing on foods that do not come in plastic packaging. Um, for people who are looking to go plant-based for the animals or even vegan, it's really common for them to join an organization or to do some volunteer work that is in support of animals in some way, whether that be volunteering at an animal shelter um, or working with an organization in some way. So by focusing on whatever that why is for you, why you want to go plant-based, what that result is, and creating actions around that, you actually begin to push yourself even further towards that result. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so you get notified when we put out more videos like this every Thursday. If you're looking for more guidance on how to start a plant-based diet and lifestyle, feel free to download our guide, Eight Easy Steps to Switch to a Plant-Based Lifestyle and Love It. You can find that in the description and in the comments, and I will see you next time.